Hey, buddies, Potato Mike Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space 2 as uh, as me, Potato Mike Whiskey. Now, I actually don't know what we're going to do in this game. I'm going to kind of just throw caution to the wind and play completely randomly. I played a interesting sort of um, startup game. What we're going to do is we're going to pick a completely random faction. We're not even going to pay attention to it. We're just going to play however it is assigned to us. We're going to put everything on random. We're going to play a completely crazy way, maximum competitors. Everyone is a random civil civilization. We're going to play with eight arms on a large galaxy. Uh, we're going to play on normal difficulties, I suppose. Uh, let's let's scooch it up to, to hard. Let's play on hard. Screw it, all right? We're going to play with lots of constellations. We'll play with a high, high density galaxy. Uh, yeah, we'll play with a high density galaxy. Lots of these things. Maybe we'll do a ring. No, we'll do a spiral, right? We'll do a large eight, eight armed spiral. And we're just going to see right, how screwy can this game get? Now, I don't know if we'll ever finish this game, but the intention is to finish it. We'll, we'll, that's the goal. The goal is to finish it, but we'll see how it turns out. Oh, it has advanced settings. Oh my God. I can make it old, I can make it random, a young, node connectivity high. We'll leave these kind of normal. Balanced way, chaotic, spawn close together. Abundant resources, no. Anomaly frequency, no. We'll, we'll have this all standard stuff, that's fine. But we'll just have a high density on this. There's bonus things here. Let's see, time management. Global. Four hours, five hours, three hours. Turn timer, no. Battle auto start. 20 seconds. I think this is for like, um, for multiplayer. So we'll just leave this all. We'll do slightly faster animations. We'll speed that up a little bit. Narration, yep. Uh, score victory, yeah, we'll leave everything else fine. Unique random, minor faction quantity. We'll leave this all fine. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Interesting. All right, we, we screwed around with the settings. We're playing with like kind of a random game. We're going to find out what the hell happens very soon, I promise. So we're loading in. I'm going to keep quiet during the opening movie. I think we might be the Cravers. Awesome. I love the cinematics in this game. They are beautiful. Beautiful cinematics. And we actually are the Voidiani, um, which are a really interesting race. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't be playing these, but I guess we're playing these now because this is another faction with extremely unique mechanics for how they play the game. So uh, let's get started here. You discovered the planet Chinomi, home of Potato McWhiskey, the home planet of the Voidiani, was a poor yet temperate world, and the fragility of its environment meant it was soon depleted. As a result, the Voidiani were driven into space by necessity, and already have a long history as a ship-bound people 
Though their civilization is now tied to their arc, their planets, uh, arcs, their planets of origin remains a powerful symbol, both as a lesson in ecology and as a memory of the weak and grotesque forms they had before virtual technology allowed them to evolve beyond that. So these are, if any of you are at all into, um, If you're into the uh, Warhammer 40k universe, these are kind of like Eldar. Rather than colonize planets, they move their... Like, you now it's kind of sacrificed for game mechanics. Rather than colonize planets directly, they build these giant arc ships, which um, kind of explore around planets. They stand around planets and... Uh, what do you call it? They... they um, rather than... Oh, what's the word I need here? Rather than colonizing planets, what they do is they have their ships in orbit of the planets and then just work the tiles of the planets, sort of, so to speak. So we have one active arc and we have a resource essences harvested from other empires that can be used to build arc, new arc ship and population units. So they have some pretty unique mechanics that we're going to have to look into here. So the leecher is, as far as I can tell, a ship that can extract tribute from other civilizations. So we're going to want to explore with that to find other stuff. Now, in the meantime, do we have any leaders is the question. Uh, the violent rebellion of the heretic do long ago left scars that have only recently healed. Now, as you once more look outward, you hear reports the star systems full of wealth, alien populations rich with essence and then endless ruins to explore and venerate. Your faith is your north star that guides you as the responsibility of your church weighs in the shoulders of your holy cloth. May the virtual saints guide you. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool civilization. So we have here Varb Saint Zuenia. Uh, let's have a look at the hero management. He is a guardian. So he's focused on fleet warfare and industrial production. Fervent and powerful avoid any heroes will be adept to control command and spreading their influence. So let's have a look at him in depth here. Uh, so he has over here, this is the Voidiani specific skills and the Guardian. And these are the general skills that everyone can access. So it's like, you know, optimal operations, the uh, experience on the fleet and uh, happiness, military capacity, ship damage, hero costs, all that sort of good stuff. Now, if we have a look here, we'll see the ascetic sustenance plus 10 food on system plus two per hero level we have plus 40 percent shield capacity 60 percent energy weapon damage 15 percent dust four movement points uh eight percent um everything 25 fleet health uh 10 fleet health so here's the question i have here do i want to assign him to my quote-unquote colony down here or do i want to assign him to my military well i mean that really Kind of depends on what I want to do. Do I want to do wheels or do I want to do a leecher? I think the thing we'll do is we'll grab a wheel. What we'll do is, right, we'll stick him in as a governor. At least for the time being. We'll grab a second wheel to explore the galaxy. Um, and we'll get to work. Um, we'll, we'll build a wheel real quick just to get a little bit more exploration going. Uh, so let me grab this very first wheel. Um, I suppose the thing to do would be to... Well, actually, I suppose I could assign him to this fleet. He's already assigned. Um, so we're going to explore the curiosities. Let's get that done. Expedition. So we found Red Sang. That's great. Uh, no more anomalies to explore. So we'll send him off into the great void expanse of the universe. Uh, so this ship uh, harvest the vital energy from a nearby system using the essence gathering modules of your ship. You don't have permission to raid this star system. So we're going to want to go look around and see if we can find people to raid. And that's why I'm building a, uh, a second wheel because we need to find other, other players or minor civilizations as far as I understand to get more of this essence which will allow us to colonize more places. So no luck so far. Uh, we did find Red Sang, all that sort of good stuff, we'll continue here. We've got a new tech we want to research, so we do start off with Xenobiology and Off-World Agribusiness. Uh, might be a good idea to pick up some... 
So this this can actually move. As far as I understand it, this can move around and it has a lot of damage and stuff. Very cool. So we're gonna have to figure out how this works, but for the meantime, we'll uh, we'll keep we'll just keep this in orbit of this planet. Um, oh, it's a medium cold tundra. Low, weak, 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 low. Can we find a more rich planet to move to, perhaps? Yeah, over here. Tiny forest. What are you? Let me have a look. I mean, this is 9463. And um, what's this other one? It's four, two, three. Yeah, it might actually be good to move here over to this. So let's withdraw the arc. And move it over here. We'll anchor in. Right, we got our population now. And now we get a lot more stuff because it put a population on each planet. That's cool. So we just moved our colony because we saw somewhere better. That's awesome. Holy shit. That's so cool. I like this. I like this civilization already. So we're going to move on here. Uh, we found Bundus. I don't know why I sent you over here. Oh, it was because I was exploring these anomalies. Let me explore this anomaly over here. The small tundra anomaly. Uh, we discovered dark glitter. So this has an effect of plus two science per person on planet and plus one production per person on planet. The luxury resource. Um, we are growing. Very slowly, but we are growing. That's awesome. I really like this civilization already. They're very interesting. Uh, we're going to want to send you over here to explore that anomaly. Uh, well, here's a, here's a question. Can we actually edit our ships at the moment? So if we look at the wheel, uh, just, to, just to play around with the slots, it looks like we can't really make much of a change here. Um, we could probably stick a titanium engine on this. Where are you getting your movement points? Wheel. So this has a draw essence module. So it absorbs 12.5 growth. But how do you have so much movement? Do you, is your base movement just really high? What if I were to stick a titanium engine here? Go up really high too. So we'll just keep this the way it is. Uh, you have improved probes. Okay, and then a couple of guns. I guess this is an interesting... Oh, I guess I could swap out a defensive thing. No, we'll, we'll keep that. What about Leecher? What does the Leecher have? Oh, it's just, it's just leeching. That's all it does is leech like crazy. Can you actually put weapons on it? You can put weapons on it. Can you put defenses on it? You can put defenses on it, and then you can put support modules. Cool. Uh, arc. Let's have a look at the Arc. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. So if I... What was that noise? Oh, it was just... Maybe it was just the arc. So if I look at this thing. Jesus. Look at this thing. It's huge. So I could put defenses on this. I could put weapons. I could put support modules. So let's have a look here. This is the 10... Thing... Doodle. So it can draw essence. All must provide. So right now it does science. It can pull influence dust. It can pull production. Let's have a look at defensive modules. So right now it has dust. It has an engine. I don't know if the engine is necessary. It is kind of slow without the engine though. We'll stick a titanium engine in there. Um, so right now it's pulling in dust and science. I suppose one thing we could do is also pull in some production.
Um, but I think in the meantime, we won't we won't change this because we don't have the money the money to do it. It's a really interesting idea of the arc. I like it. I like the arc. It's a cool concept. Uh, your empire now has access to dark glitter. I can't really use it yet. That's a bit of a problem. All right, we'll continue. We're on turn two. <laughs> um, kind of figuring out how this civilization works. Uh, let's see. I do want to do a little bit of work here and there on certain things. I would really like to get maybe better exploration ships early. Um, just to really find people. I'll tell you what, we'll pick up Xeno Linguistics for the uh, Xeno Industrial Infrastructure and the ability to refine titanium. This planet is unique. We'll keep exploring with this leecher till we can hopefully find um, someone to steal population from. Uh, we just finished Xeno Linguistics, that's great. That's going to be a system improvement that we can stick in there. So creator of wealth. First to produce 100 dust in a single star system. We're probably not going to get that one. I mean, maybe. First have eight plants colonized in your system. In your empire, rather. Uh, here it is. Endless park and research. You know, whatever. Uh, so we just picked up the xenolinguistics. Is there any more production we could pick up somewhere? Uh, so what kind of planets do we have here? We have cold planets and temperate planets. So maybe something that has a science specialization here uh, might be good to pick up. So where do I pick up the um, currency specialization? Oh, trade companies. I would like to play around with trade companies. Um, man, there's so much to this game that I want to do. I think... I think there's no harm in picking up some food-based stuff because I, I do think we still grow with food, right? Uh, system growth, plus 58. I'm not sure what it uses for growth. It doesn't say... I don't think it's food. Is it food? Is it food that it uses to grow? I don't know. It doesn't say. That's the thing. Oh, yes. It is food. 55. Plus 56. So food would be good for us here. I'm really glad I found this red sign, actually, because it's really nice. Uh, yeah, so I think picking up some food here wouldn't be terrible to help us grow, because we do have slow growth. And our, but our, like the population that we grow are really good. If we look at our guys here, they have plus four of everything. Um, with the exception of influence. So I think picking up a little bit of food growth here would not be bad at all. So I think we're going to pick up planetary landscaping. All right, so we have this exploration ship here. We are going to hit this anomaly up. Uh, we're going to drop a exploration token on it. Well, I mean, exploration token. Improved high ice slugs. That's cool. That's a new weapon that we're going to play around with potentially later. Uh, kind of... but. Found that in my other game too, actually, I think. So a little bit less exciting, but hey, you know, we found something. Uh, so let's continue on here. Destroy all pirates in your home constellation. Brother Atab was caught gorging on the slaves today. He shall be forbidden sustenance for three days. His suit receptors deactivated. All must obey the laws. It is a great and lonely thing to ruin the Brevoidiani Protectorate, a heavy responsibility that I wear with pride. We have built our f we have put our fates in our suits, our cloth, which protects and maintains our spirits during our holy efforts, to guide the faithful, discipline those who stray, and punish those who preach heresy, and all of those heretics who must be punished. Um, Isiander Shumaid, the infidel, is the greatest. He is also my brother, he who fomented a rebellion, freed the slaves, and stole a ship, uh, 
and crippled the Protectorate for decades. He who discovered the Tabernacle of Lies and believed every word of it. The day will come when all deeds are counted and tallied, but in the great in the great network that binds us together and on that day the infidel will burn even if it must be by my own hand even if he is my brother but that day is not yet come and, and by there i will oh, and by their will i hope it does not come soon for we have much to prepare a system to pacify a new galaxy to civilize eyes civilize and the ignorant to convert and the infidel to punish the rigors of faith permit us no rest my faith burns with the flame of a thousand suns and the power and no power in the galaxy will deter me the press remain custos will see the faithful. I must look outward to secure our new home. Those who are here must come to accept us and learn our new ways. Our first steps is to deal with those who cannot understand reason, history and laws. They are pirates and shall be dealt with as brigands and unbelievers. So it looks like there's some pirates over here uh, of some description. So I'm going to launch a probe to get a good look at them. So they got some prowlers. Uh, yeah, I will need a second um, thing. I think I'll bring this ship back, okay? And then I'll pull out my, my leader guy to uh, to fight them. So we're going to continue on with this guy. Um, you've discovered the Zavali, a minor civilization in the Lachim uh, system. Start negotiations. Can we leech them is the question that I want to ask. So we're in turn here. Oh my goodness, there's some children outside screaming. Ah! Okay, this guy got a level up, so we're going to assign some skills here. I think it could be interesting to pick up the plus 10 production. Uh, plus 10 food could be really cool too. These guys do have a growth issue. Um, so picking up food could be really nice. Uh, I think I'll pick up some... F yeah, I'll pick up some fleet experience. That seems like fun to me. And then we will detach him from his responsibilities. Uh... Back to the academy, and then we will. Ass we'll create a new fleet. Hero is locked for three turns. That's okay. That's reasonable. Okay. Uh, let's see. You can hear the neighborhood kids just squealing at each other as they play games. Uh, like run around making noise you know my favorite kind of thing that people do during the day when i'm trying to record <laughs> uh okay so we just finished we finished one of our wheels i could make another one to fight potentially uh i don't know if that's actually a reasonable thing to do or not it, the wheels are pretty strong for fighting so i might not need to do that uh, i think i think a thing to do here is if i pick up some extra growth it will pay off dividends long term. Uh, I could pick up some production. I think this civilization is going to be very heavily reliant on production. So we might just do that and see what we can pull out of that. So we found Lachem. Uh, I'm going to start dealing their vital energy. Excellent. So 10 turns until we get a new thing. I wonder if I'm stealing... Can I, like, steal too much and hurt them? I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. So this explains what I saw in that other game that I was playing. I saw this kind of animation. I was wondering what the hell was going on, but now I know. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series uh, so far. It's only the first episode, but hey, you know. Got some good things in store when we continue to play. So I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Please remember, if you want to see more of me playing Endless Space, you can subscribe to my channel to get notified when new videos come out. If you want to directly support my channel, please leave a like on the video. And uh, if you want to give me feedback on what your thoughts are on this game and this civilization and so on and so forth, make sure you leave a comment. Other than that, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series, and I'll see you next time. Oh, I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. That's my outro.